Like all jobs on a boat, they seem so overwhelming when you look at them as a whole. We're slowly learning that you need to eat the elephant just one bite at a time. As most boats, our Hunter 460 has beautiful teak inside. Well, at least it was. The UV damage and neglect has really taken its toll. Nothing has been touched in three years, hence the major workload that we've been doing for the past month. And we're like a dog on a bone trying to get our ship shape ASAP. We're trying to take our time and not kill ourselves in the process, but that isn't easy. The words quitting time just don't seem to be in our vocabulary. The day starts right after coffee and ends when we're too exhausted to move anymore. Now I know we can't go on like this forever, but we're sure gonna give it our all for as long as we can. It's so rewarding at the end of the day to see what we've accomplished, instant gratification. Somebody once told us, a boat without a working list is a sunk boat. So, back to work. Hi, we're Josh and Tamara, and this is our 46-foot hunter sailboat, Pawnee Time. Join us every Friday as we learn to navigate these new waters and refit, renovate, and restore our new home. Thanks for all your support along the way. Good morning, everyone. So it's a bit gusty out today. They have a storm warning uh, on from 10 o'clock till six o'clock today with winds gusting up to 40 kilometers, sorry, 40 miles an hour. Um, so we've decided that it's a good day for inside jobs to get done. Um, and so we're cleaning. It is cleaning scrubbing day. I'm working on just getting the rest of the wood prepped and prepared so that we can start putting some teak oil on it and shine it up. I'm excited to kind of get as much of this as I can get done today and brighten it up and make it healthy, shiny wood. And uh, I don't know, bring some life back to the inside of the boat. But what is your job over here today? I'm disassembling the whole stairway and doghouse for the motor. It's just disgusting. I just pulled this up. This is the top step. And you can see underneath of it, it's been collecting uh, gunk and dirt. And that's basically everything we open up. Has never been touched. Has never been touched. So it's got 20 years of filth underneath of it. So but it's crazy how, you know, you'd spend a little bit of time scrubbing it up, a little bit of uh, pine saw, and, uh, and put a little bit of um, oxy in there. And uh, man, it comes out nice. It's a million times this better. This was just green. and green and black and gooey <laughs> but it's coming out and then I'm just gonna start working my way down I'm gonna get this whole wall disassemble all the stairs do one at a time shine up all of the stainless clean up the doghouse and then just start working my way down and then this then basically we're gonna be done to this part of the boat yeah and then we just have the, the two, two rooms of the terror two, right now <laughs> the they are first. so filled like this is the last of our storage stuff and it's gotten a little chaotic and crazy because we can't find anything obviously so every time we go in there we find something a box get moved nothing gets put back the way that it should so it's just insane in there but uh we're today we're going to try and get that cleaned up a little bit as well we'll start on it we, i don't know if we'll get that far today but but it'll be nice when we get those organized and done because yeah. not only will we have space for our guests. Yes. Um, but, but we'll be we'll, able to find our stuff. We'll be able to find stuff. Yeah. But we're doing good. We're, we're yeah. you know, we're two thirds of the way through this sucker. Yeah, and now it's kind of pretty work it at is. the moment. Got all the exterior stuff pretty much done now. Yeah. Everything's sealed up. Yeah. We got rain coming tomorrow. We'll be able to test all of our um, sealing jobs yeah, we did yesterday. All this stuff yesterday. I mean, just the gunk that we got out from that lid over top of the companionway slide. Was insane. Unbelievable in yeah. there. Oh, man. And we made a wasp very angry. Yeah, we took a, his home away, unfortunately. Yeah. He wasn't very happy about that, but there you was, know what? There was many yes. homes over the years yes. in there of everything. <laughs> yeah. So it was really nice to get that done. It just every little piece we do gets cleaner and cleaner and cleaner mm -hmm. and looking nicer and nicer. Yeah. So it's cleaning time. Yeah, we wake up, up, have coffee for half an hour, have breakfast, put the gloves on and go. <laughs> it's looking pretty sparkly up here, babe. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this one's I've been wanting to jump on for a while, but something I learned from, from my grandpa when I worked with him as a painter was two areas of the house you always make look perfect are the front entryway of someone's home and their front door when you walk up it looks beautiful and it's a first impression and the second is the bathroom because people have time to sit there and look at all of the flaws so, <laughs> so on this boat the entryway and the bathroom have to be perfect yes so, yeah 
<laughs> well, you're doing a wicked job. It looks a million times better. It does. Yeah, yeah. it's getting there. Yeah. We've had all these old dead stickers to scrub off and just years and years of hand scrubbing stuff. Yeah. So just all these little nooks and stuff are just full of hand grease, right? So it's coming clean though. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So I've got this whole area prepped and ready to go. I've done a once over on all of the wood um and just letting it finish up drying right now once it's dried up then we're going to start the teak oil magic and see how it all comes out but it's kind of funny because there's not a whole lot of places to put stuff so i had to clear this whole area out and the boat was perfectly clean and everything was great and now it's a mess everywhere <laughs> again you just find a place to load all your stuff and at the end of the day, you put it all back together again. It's like shuffle, 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 shuffle. But what are you gonna do? Like, there's only so much space around you here and uh, I don't know, it just makes it fun. This way you get to redecorate every time you do something new. If you didn't like it one place, it's gonna change in a couple days anyway. So or you just learn where something is or gets put away and then you can't <laughs> find it again. Next. Where's my? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Awesome, so I'm gonna get this uh, start putting the oil on it and i'll do an update in a little bit well we don't know for sure but this boat's 20 years old and it looks like this hasn't been done in 20 years because the difference we're getting with what tamara's done the There's, first coat of teak oil you can see a line right there it's just incredible like you can see where we've cleaned here and there's no finish left on this at all it's just bare wood it just washed off and then look at how rich that's looking over there with the teak Tiki taco. You know what's kind of funny? When I was a kid, I hated getting the job of dusting. I hated doing pledge and we had a lot of wood as everybody does in the 80s and early 90s and I hated it and I am loving it right now. It's cool, it looks so yeah. much yeah. better. It's such, like it doesn't take much and it totally is transforming. All oh, the wood. and it just that first coat you've done is just sucked yeah. it right up. I did oh. two test patches here. I think we're probably gonna do three on everything, probably. honestly. Yeah. On this little project here for about probably almost three and a half hours now, disassembling all the stairs and just scrubbing everything out. And it's actually coming out pretty clean. This was black from people's hands touching it and stuff. And still scrubbing out this wall, this whole thing, all the stairs. I've washed all of the uh, shelvings, pieces that were bolted on there. So and it's coming really clean. And then, uh, Tamara's like, hey, this second coat's coming out really nice. So I turned around and looked, and you gotta see this, it's epic. It's different, hey? Look at that. Two coats of oil on all that. It looks amazing. It I can't does. get over it. Yeah, it looks like a brand new boat. Like the wood, it's sucking it up. It's so thirsty, and this is making a huge difference. Oh, it looks epic. Yeah, the colors are popping, it looks nice and rich, and I oh, love it. I'm so excited. Me too. It looks like a totally different boat. Yeah. But that's I'm sweating my ass off, but it's still fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're we're... going to start getting some rain, and so we're going to have to start closing the hatches. And it's already hot enough in here, so I don't know how well, that's we're good. Work it's a good out. thing we're getting this done now, because mm -hmm. come middle of summer, you wouldn't get any of this done. No, but no. That looks so good. It's getting there. Okay, back to work. Let's go. Going. The crazy thing about this project today is it is huge. It's the entire boat kind of that we're taking on. Uh, it didn't start that way, but it kind of snowballed into that effect as it usually does. Once you start. Yes. <laughs> because what's the point, right? If you're in it to win it, let's do it. But the beauty of it is it's like eating the elephant. You just kind of do your one little spot, you move on. You do your one little spot, you move on. And you don't think about, oh my God, I have the entire thing to do. And it's made for a really great day of doing this project. It's rainy and yucky outside. So we're inside doing stuff. It's, cra it's crafty. It's crafty. <laughs> <laughs> but it's coming out amazing. We've got one coat just about right here. You can see the difference in colors. I'm gonna move the teak oil so I don't knock it over. But we got all these guys done. Two coats done in this area here. Josh has just the stairs to finish up before it all goes back I'm down. I'm done to my nitty gritty of <laughs> steel wool beds. <laughs> but you're making it happen, babe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's working. It's working. 
<laughs> Hi. It's a muggy day. We worked our butts off today. We did. We've done all the teak in the main area here. Um, except for the, the kitchen. Galley. We still have the galley to do. You can yeah. see the difference between here. And then the and cupboards over there. Completely. Like it's so different. Yeah. Just a little bit of teak oil. Well, a lot of teak oil. Yeah. And uh, it just gave life back to all this wood again. It so we uh, <laughs> we managed to get a lot done today, more than we had expected, and it looks so fresh and beautiful. Does. And then the staircase, which has been bugging us, looks so good since we got the boat. Yeah. It's Every so clean and bit nice, huh? and piece of that has been cleaned, taken apart, cleaned, polished. It's fresh. It's fresh. And our, we got one heck of a rainstorm, crazy rainstorm, mm -hmm. and our fix for the companionway cover spot on that's good our stanchion re uh rebedding those are good yep and that window's good that this window's one over good. here but we found a couple more <laughs> so yeah. we're getting a leak in this one it looks like it's coming in from where the pivot point is so i'm going to read about that probably a gasket you got to replace them we that. have two of them that are like that now yeah and then the uh, in the forward cabin's bathroom for head we have a just a, a small have to window do like a, that's a uh, hatch like that's leaking just like there. that one yeah gonna have to pull it off and rebed it yeah no different um, but then this one's giving us a bit of a who knows because we've got this drip that's coming right along here and then it comes down as you can see i don't know as it's going down the mast as well and we pulled it all out yesterday to try and figure out where the leak is coming from but couldn't see anything. No, so, I'm gonna have to cruise around up top and look for it because it looks like it's coming down, it's landing and then traveling. It's like coming in, this way. coming in here somewhere, and then it's traveling down and then it pools here until it finally overflows and it either come out here or it'll drip out here. So I don't know. This one's really confused. got me yeah. confused, but I'll just keep looking for it. We'll figure it out. So we've got the old fashioned pots on the floor collecting the water so that it keeps our carpets and our floor dry because we don't want to slip slide away yeah but anyways it was a very very productive day we've got done a lot more than oh. we had originally expected to get done it feels Completely. so clean in here and fresh yeah. and uh yeah i'm pretty proud of what we did today me too it was yeah. a lot of work it was a lot of work but, but oh the fans getting mad it's All right, so there worth it. It's it is. Like night and day difference. I'll sit with you too. That looks nice. That's good. Yeah. Like we, it was one thing just to clean everything, but to get uh, everything um, oiled now. Yeah. It just looks new. Yes. It looks new and fresh. Yes. Wait till we get the upholstery done. Oh my god. Oh gosh, that and the curtains. And the curtains. That's gonna be wicked. And a bit. <laughs> we got stuff. Lots of stuff to do. One thing at a time. Anyway. Yeah. It's time to shower, shave, maybe get a haircut, get something for dinner. Perfect. I hope you're enjoying these videos. Yeah. Because <laughs> we're having fun making them. We sure are. <laughs> Don't forget to hit the subscribe, like, leave us a comment. Yes. All the good things. We don't do a lot of the work that's happening because... I don't know. You don't want to see us bent over scrubbing floors and cleaning out bilges and <laughs> but if maybe you do, you do. <laughs> let us know. <laughs> but it's easier just to show the progression as it's going through because otherwise it's a long bit of video for us to go through to take out the good oh, bits yeah. and so but it, sitting here and looking back at that area now. Oh, it's oh so man. clean and sparkly. Woo! Yeah. You're next. Oh, you are Gally. so next. We still yeah. have the two um berths in the back to clean out they're jammed full of all of our stuff <laughs> the boat's sitting like this yeah so we keep talking about it but we got batteries to do we got engine servicing generator to fix oh and the worst we got the tank pumped yesterday pumped uh and they didn't get it all so it didn't get anything actually and it's overflowing full so there's a lovely pungent smell in here that we can't get rid of at the moment. Stay. So, boat life. 
it's gross <laughs> no it's not it's awesome yeah that's just part of dealing with it it is we're are a spaceship and a spaceship has systems to fix and maintain yes. and clean and and our poop system needs to get maintained yeah. punch it chewy <laughs> see you later <laughs> good morning it's saturday so it's fun project day we got this little tower above our helm here you can see it's right there with all the spaghetti hanging out of it but there's uh a couple of lights and then there was a couple of old crappy speakers they're actually uh, automotive speakers and they were rotted out really hard to get out of there because all everything rusted out but i yarded all that out and then i've ordered up some they were five inch uh speakers and i've ordered up some nice little kenwood marine six and a halfs and i gutted all that last night and then uh i just finished cutting cleaning up and cutting out all the old junk and then uh <laughs> this is breakfast we just finished breakfast i started playing with this already early this morning but i just cut these out now i'm going to clean it up sand it and then uh, i got a new dome light to go in here that's going to have uh red option or just led there's a couple switches that go in here for the canopy lights up in the hard top and then a main power switch and then i'm wiring in a usb charger port there too so it's kind of upgrading it all and stuff but then it brings some sound out to the cockpit and just looks clean and better and i find this stuff so rewarding I, I love it so much it's different than just cleaning and polishing this is this is just fun to me but anyway i'll show you along the way as i get things put together but i just finished cutting these out i drilled a bunch of holes and cut the old um speaker holes out and you can see these drop right in perfectly now what are you doing um i'm hanging hooks i love hooks we don't have any in this boat and we need a place to put just our hoodies and stuff because we're not always hanging them back up in the closet. So I've got these little guys here I'm just putting up so we have some place to hang jackets and life jackets and that sort of thing. And then I have to go around to all of the ones that we did the other day because they didn't have stainless steel screws and take them out and put the new stainless steel ones in today. So it's a fun day of replacing screws. You love hooks. I love hooks. Yes, and because it is the weekend, we're baking. So we are making this super awesome, it's good, it's a gluten-free Bisquick mix, and it's gonna be a ham, cheese, biscuit loaf kind of a thing that we're making today in the Instapot. We are still having issues with our propane, um, so we've cooked in the Instapot for a week straight. Josh has cooked in the Instapot for a week straight. And it's been awesome. Whatever we think of, we just kind of Google it, and it's like, oh, sure, you can make that in the Instant Pot. So, completely. It's we, been awesome. I didn't know you could sear stuff in it. Like, yeah. we've literally made a week's worth of meals just in that thing. Mm -hmm. and they've all been different. Yeah, it's so much different than a crock pot, mm -hmm. which is cool. It yeah. is. Mm -hmm. Super and quick. Yeah. Because we're usually finishing our boat jobs for the day <laughs> around eight o'clock, and they were like, shit, we got to make a meal. Yeah. But we plan out and get the food ahead of time at least. We still haven't done a big grocery shop. We're still just testing everything before we load up the boat. But food, the but. fridge is holding. It's been two, Four. no, three days. Three days now. Three days now that it hasn't conked out on us, so. The last time it conked out was because I flicked the switch off by accident, so. And we thought it was the. Yeah, and I'm like, no, I back into it under the seat. And I'm like, what the hell, it won't go. And then Tamara's like, oh, the switch is off. She flicked it and it brrr, started running again. So. Yeah, so we need to tape that one down. Do something, put a sticker on it, or I don't know, make yeah. it a different color. I don't know. Don't touch it. Yeah, an alarm goes off if you touch <laughs> it. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to work. Yeah, but you, weekend you... fun projects. Woo! This is different than regular boat day projects, which are also fun. Yes, but it doesn't feel like it's a hard work day. It's like, well, let's just get stuff done today. Yeah, yeah. it's totally different. Yeah. How's your weekend fun project going? This is the fun part. <laughs> It's yes. like playing uh, Operation. <laughs> <laughs> Which one goes where? Yeah. Yeah, interesting. So. How did the whole thing turn out? Oh, it looks amazing. Check this out. Did we get video of it before? Uh, I have a picture of it. Oh, it was so bad. That looks so nice, though. Yeah, it's clean really and crisp. Really good. We got yeah. New lights, new switches, new speakers. <laughs> uh, it's going to be awesome. Because we like our music. We do. Yeah. yeah. Baking has been interesting in the Instapot uh, because it cooks with the steam 
it makes it uh, kind of mushy on the top and you're supposed to put it in the oven to broil the top and crisp it up. But what we've decided to do, smart idea, is put it on saute so that it just gets it nice and hot in there and it cooks it kind of like an oven instead of having the steam. And uh, it cooked the one side perfectly and then I flipped it over and put it back in so hopefully we get the bottom cooked up so it doesn't look mushy. It still is edible the way that it is, it just looks kind of mushy and I don't like it. So we'll let you know how the saute worked. But uh, another big project that we have come across is it's so easy to get this fridge completely filled with shit everywhere. You just kind of open it and put it in and open it and put it in and then you can't find anything. So I am now with the task of reorganizing it and I have a feeling this is going to be like a weekly thing to get the fridge back in order. But that's what we're doing. We're reorganizing the fridge today. It's uh, like we said, weekend fun projects and taking it easy. It's nice to have it down day. I'm gonna have to get you to turn this down in a minute. Okay. <laughs> Super loud? Yeah. So funk about this. Turned out so good. Looks awesome. We got a uh, regular light here. Our nighttime red light. Wired in switches for the whole canopy. Pretty happy with how it turned out. It wasn't easy. It's awesome. <laughs> What's that? It took us, I don't know, maybe three hours to do the electric. No. Yes, we had to figure the switches. The the wiring in there was a mess. It, it was, was such absolutely a mess. terrible. We had to trace we, lines. We should have cut it all out and started fresh. Well, that would have been smarter, but yeah. But we got it all, and it all works. Yeah. I'm pretty stoked about it and it sounds good and we got rid of those crappy little five inch speakers that were yeah. out there that didn't really even do anything yeah and it looks clean and nice and every little piece is coming together and what yes. do we have here for snacks it's a little bit of saturday bacon i took a little snitch already it's delicious it's got bacon in it it's got bacon and cheese and cheese and bacon did i mention <laughs> i'm so Some excited hell of a good <laughs> and it'll go really good with our coronas because yes. we deserve them Yes. It's not the hottest day out there, no. but it's uh, there's no bugs, which is nice. There's it's a lot a nice of bugs change. here. And uh, now we can just enjoy the rest of our... Is it Saturday? It's Saturday, babe. Saturday, Sunday, what? Woo. Okay, time to party. This thing is the best. <laughs> it's back out. It's made its way to the new boat. How could we let it go, right? It was so perfect on the McGregor. Now it's on our Hunter and... We love it. It's it's perfect. Your best little safe fireplace anywhere you go to. Anyways, thanks for joining us on our lazy relaxing Saturday. Don't forget to hit subscribe, like button, send us some comments. We always like to hear from you. Have a great night.